Hello, my name is Nancy Judd. I'm an artist and an environmental educator and a teaching artist. In my art practice, I create sculptures that appear to be high fashion couture garments, but they're made out of trash. And I exhibit my work in high traffic public locations such as airports and museums. In fact, I have an exhibit up right now in the Atlanta airport through February of 2021. I use my work to initiate conversations about how we live on this planet. For example, the jellyfish dress is made out of plastic bags that were ironed and cut and scrunched in different ways to make a dress inspired by jellyfish. I've been trained in what's called arts integration. According to the Kennedy Center, arts integration is an approach to teaching in which students construct and demonstrate understanding through an art form. That could be any art form. It could be visual arts, literary arts, dance, theater, music, and students engage in a creative process which connects an art form and another subject area, which could be science, math, history, uh, literary arts, and meets evolving objectives in both areas. An example of an arts integrated project is something I call imagined worlds, which are dioramas made from upcycled materials. This is a diorama I made about the jellyfish dress. So you can see in the foreground of the box is the picture of the jellyfish dress. And the story it tells plays out in the back where you see a uh, turtle, a sea turtle swimming around about to eat a plastic bag, which it has mistaken for its favorite food, a jellyfish. The story of the jellyfish is really about the impacts of plastic on the environment, on animals, uh, and on marine life. And so the text that's added to the dioramas provides an opportunity to, for students to bring research into the project, statistics, science, history, um, social studies. It's an opportunity for students to delve into um, areas or topics that have meaning to them, to become activists, um, and to bring their ideas out into the world. As we're making the dioramas, I ask the students to pay attention to the ideas of depth, to think about the foreground, the middle, the background, the bottom, and the top. And we begin the process by creating the background and the ground. In my case, it was the ocean and uh, the sea floor, and then you can see in the front, the sand. And once students have developed that, then they can go ahead and create the objects that are in their scene. And then once that's done, then they can uh, bring in the text. So this is a great example of arts integration. It engages students in something that they are passionate about or have interest in. It's a hands-on way for them to explore issues related to science, history, social studies. It can bring in math, uh, obviously literary arts, research, statistics, and uh, most of all, it's fun.